Hey guys, how's it going everybody? It's the man, the myth, the legend, Quad MFT here, and in today's video I'll be bringing you guys a 121 kill gameplay. This time we'll be playing a little bit of Ground War Domination, or I think this is Ground War Domination, this could be 6v6, but either way, I get 121 kills, playing a little bit of gameplay on the map Yemen now. Yemen, it's a great map, you know, it's definitely not my favorite map in all of Black Ops 2 or anything, but I, I like it when it comes up in the rotation, it makes me feel like, you know, I can do pretty decent on Yemen, you know. Of course, 121 kills being a lot better than decent, but the kill streaks and the score streaks that I'm running in this gameplay are the big three, the Lodestar, the K9 unit, and the Swarm now. The reason why I chose these three specific score streaks to run on this map is knowing that I knew for a fact that I could get all three of these score streaks on this map just because I can control Yemen really easily and yes I was playing solo I, I wasn't playing with any subscribers or people trying to help me out running UAV counter UAV and orbital VSAT but I do have to suggest to you guys the M8A1 um, if you have never even checked out the M8A1 it's definitely a great assault rifle and the reason why I like it so much is it's not like amazing it's not like super overpowered like you win every single gunfight no matter what but it's still you know pretty solid you see professional people use it you see a lot of people in league play use it in fact the attachments that I'm using on this gameplay are a little bit helpful I believe I am using three attachments and the attachments that I'm using are the fast mag the stock and then the quick draw attachment now the fast mag really it doesn't make that big of a difference but but I'd rather have fast mag than you know just regular magazine or extended mags but and then the quick draw that's the thing that I makes that that I, that I think makes a huge difference it helps me aim in faster of course than everybody else so being able to aim in faster helps me win win a lot more gunfights get in a lot more different uh, places where I can get more kills and get more kills and just oh, oh basically win every gunfight that I run into and that's how I work up to my different score streaks that's how I get more points and get a lot more capture kills and stuff like that but the one attachment that I think makes the biggest difference the thing that makes me actually do really well in Call of Duty and overall just really do the best I possibly can do is the stock now I don't really ever use stock on any SMGs any any SMGs not SM jeans I'm not wearing freaking blue jean pants here in this gameplay but I really do like the fact that the stock on the assault rifles that can make a huge difference stock on the a 94 that thing if I didn't ever have stock on the a 94 I would probably cry myself to sleep every night like I'm seven years old but I don't know anybody who cried themselves to sleep at night when they were seven years old or really even at all besides when they were under two or three years old but that's completely off topic that's not that's not what we're here to talk about today but again guys the stock I, I, I cannot use the scar H if I don't have lightweight quick draw and stock on it if I don't have it on if I don't have any of those things on let me guess maybe I forgot the stock I won't use the gun maybe you forgot quick draw I won't use that maybe I forgot lightweight I won't use it it's just practically impossible because the scar H you run so slow with the with that gun in the in the pull-up to be able to aim on sight not having quick draw on that thing is so slow it just makes me feel like I lose every single gunfight just because of that and I mean I uh, if I have those three on the, then the scar H starts to tear up the damage the the scar H it, it puts out so much damage per bullet that it's insane that's why I like it so much that's why I enjoy using the scar H and the scar L modern warfare 3 I think that thing was really cool I, it wasn't too slow it, in fact I kind of felt like in some di different situations it could have been kind of classified as an SMG just because it, it was so accurate in the hip fire the hip fire on the scar L in modern warfare 3 that thing was a monster but on the ACR it was also a monster most guns in modern warfare 3 I kind of felt like they were all overpowered they kind of all even the out, but I, I'm glad they did that in Black Ops 2. I mean, there's a few guns here and there that you know they aren't very good, but most guns in Black Ops 2 they're mostly really good. And in Call of Duty Ghosts, of course, being the next Call of Duty, I really hope that they make all guns a little bit overpowered. I mean, I don't like dying fast, I don't like getting one burst with the M8A1, but it, you know something about the M8A1? Of course, it's being a four burst, the first ever four burst in any Call of Duty, at least in multiplayer. You know, I, I don't really understand why why they would make it a four burst but I know I think it's kind of cool and again the cool thing is it's not too overpowered you never really get one four burst unless you're like directly into, into the head or something like that so that's what I really like about it you know it's a good gun but it's not like too good quote unquote but you can see right here I'm just completely racking up a ton of points by getting all these different capture kills so if you guys are trying to rank up and get really like really high level really fast you're just trying to get your score streaks really easily make sure to be on the B flag or the A flag or the C flag try and get a ton of kills and 
that's all really I have to suggest to you guys to be able to get your score streaks fast, but I just gave you guys a few tips in this gameplay, talking a little bit about the assault rifles and what I want to see in Call of Duty Ghosts for assault rifles. So Call of Duty Ghosts, please bring back Moabs, Specialist, the stock attachment, and just put a ton of guns in because I know on the new consoles, we're going to have a lot of new room for different things. So if they could put in a ton of different things, maybe even, you know, I heard them mention this, that they want interactive maps. I'd like to see that interactive maps, again, the Moabs, Specialist, different little things like that. I'm going to have a more in-depth video on this in the future to come soon. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a little bit off topic here and there, but I still hope you enjoyed it. So this is a pretty good gameplay, if I do say so myself. If we could shoot for 175 likes, that'd be really cool. It's been Quad MFT. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and I'll see you next time.